Hi guys, how are you? Mind this one, Titanium. Welcome back to Real Macroeconomics, patreon.com slash real macro. So let's answer this question. What is neoliberal? Neoliberal is microeconomics. That's it. That's all you need to know about neoliberal. Everybody trying to do their best, okay, and competing, trying to do the most efficient job to produce something that somebody else wants for a profit, okay, that someone is going to pay enough to produce a profit. That's neoliberal, okay? Now, if you think that's bad, okay, capitalism is not working. Okay, all right, my friend. So let me explain it to you now. If capitalism is not working, if it's bad, if neoliberalism is bad, okay, then what you need to do is you need to take all your money and give it to somebody who doesn't have a job, okay? Because then you would be as virtual, as virtuous as you think you are. Then we can talk. I want to see that. I want you to give up your job that you went to college. I want you to give up your business that you created and give it to somebody that doesn't have a business, that doesn't have your job. Okay? Someone less qualified, less skilled than you are, okay? And uh, less educated, less experienced. Go give it to that person. Because then you would not be a neoliberal. But you would be virtuous. Does that make sense to you? If it doesn't make sense to you, then using the word neoliberal, okay, as a bad thing, uh, is comical. Absolutely comical. But you don't understand. We have to tax this company here because it doesn't pay taxes. It doesn't pay taxes, really. Okay. Well, it just so happens that this company here, okay, employs one million people. Do you know how much taxes these one million people are paying each and every year as a result of this company not paying taxes? How about this company? This company, 500 billion. I'm sorry, 500,000 people. Let's get rid of these people. Let this company fail. Let this company fail here too, okay? And what we'll do is we'll give all these people a job guarantee, right? Because it's virtuous. They don't have a job. So we'll destroy these companies, destroy these jobs. We'll put them on a job guarantee. No skill required, no training, no nothing. You go out and be a surfer and do whatever. And we'll have government, evil capitalist government, print money. Hand him $36,500 a year. Give him free health care. Oh, and by the way, they have a job surfing. So uh, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, give them a credit card as well. Because they have a job surfing. And then we, we will live in this beautiful utopian society. Where nobody has to work. Fuck it, why work? Because according to MMT, okay, the virtuous people who are here to help the unfortunate, we're just going to print dollars, use our real resources, okay, the unemployed, unskilled, uh, and give them a job, okay, surfing. And uh, according to MMT, we can just print value for currency, right? Just the act of printing is valuable. It has to be, right? Otherwise, how are you going to pay for anything? You think that makes sense? You think you can just print value for a currency? It's not possible. We're going to have a buffer stock. 
We're going to print $550 billion a year for the public purpose. <laughs> okay, so give up your money for the public purpose, you virtuous human you. Because you see, all you anti-American, anti-capitalist, uh, virtuous people, uh, you wouldn't do it for yourselves. You would not give up your job to somebody less qualified. You would not give up your money to somebody that doesn't have a job. You want everybody else to do it, you see. And if we just put it under the burden of government, okay, then, uh, you know, it's their problem, not yours, okay? Let the government give all these free things. Well, guess what? The government lives off of you, okay? That's the way it works. But if you listen to MMT, they always put the cart ahead of the horse. What is MMT going to tell you? Oh, no, no, no. Everybody's provisioning the government, right? And the government controls everything. He's the price setter, the monopolist, right? Except for the part that I just told you in the, in the beginning, that everybody provisions the government. Think about that. You're provisioning the government. You wake up in the morning and say, no, I'm going to go do this, this, and this for government. I work for government. I make an iPhone for government. I, uh, I don't know, pack meat for the government. You're provisioning the government. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what are you talking about? You see? And if you don't provision the government, what happens to the government? It's non-existent, right? So do you understand what I just told you? I, I don't think you did, but I'll explain it to you again. That it's not... The government can only exist on the back of the private sector. The private sector is the only one that can create jobs. The private sector is the only one that can create wealth for a nation. The private sector is everything not the government okay so when you're looking for free lunches from the government uh no not the way it works if you don't go out you don't educate yourself you don't create a business you don't get a good job and do the absolute best for you being a neoliberal capitalist evil capitalist trying to do the best for your family okay then guess what there's no government and if you don't you don't believe me? No problem. Go to the Soviet Union. Okay. Oh, it doesn't exist anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. They also had a job guarantee too. It was a right. Everything is a fucking right these days. Everybody gets a fucking trophy. Last place, here's a trophy for you. Everybody's a fucking victim. Me too. Me too. And me too. Everybody's a victim. What I found in my life, the half century that I've been around, is that Everybody that appears to be all virtuous, they're full of shit, man. They are. They're all full of shit. I don't like virtuous people. They're only virtuous when it comes to telling everybody else what to do, but not them. You see, a job guarantee is not for them, okay? Job guarantee is for somebody else. Who's going to pay? Somebody else. I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm virtuous as shit when it comes to somebody else doing everything that I think should be done. Hey, Johnny, give up your fucking pay over there, buddy. Give it to the poor. Come on. Let's go. Damn it, you evil capitalist neoliberal. Come on. Give your pun give up your job. No, no, no. Give it to somebody that's less qualified. No, 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 no. You're an evil capitalist, you neoliberal. See? When you when you put it in the right context, then you start to understand what neoliberal means. Okay, when, when it comes to you giving up your job, you giving up your money. Suddenly, you're not all that virtuous now, are you? <laughs> well, you know, it's the same thing in, in reverse, too. You know, oh, entitlements, entitlements. What do you mean entitlements? You know, we're all going to end up someday in, in a bad position. All of us, okay? Unless you're in the top 5% of your trust fund, baby. And even then. Right? You might get sick, you might lose a job, you might something horrible happen to you, right? And you need that assistance. Well, that's 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 insurance, my friend. That's part of everything. There's nothing wrong with having social safety nets. Okay? You need people to be sheltered, fed, educated, healthy, right? 
That's that's what civilization is about. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're sitting here telling me that, well, fuck, we don't have to fucking work anymore. Well, if MMT works so great, go to Haiti, go to Bangladesh, go to all these poor countries. Show me how it's done. Show me where you can just print money and give it to some surfer that's in there jerking himself off all day. Give him health insurance. Give him a credit card. And let me see how great that economy. Go to fucking Venezuela. Go. Go. Tell me how that works. Tell me how uh, being virtuous and uh, a socialist, how great it is. How it creates this wonderful economy. I would love to see it. If it works there, fuck. I want it everywhere. We'll all just sit home. Don't have to work anymore. Let the government print value, like MMT says. You know, we can pay for it. We can pay for it. Sure, you can pay for it. Of course you can. In your fantasies, you can pay for it. Okay? Go to do it in Venezuela. Go to do it in Argentina. They need it. Go and show me how printing money creates value. And the government can buy anything. Right, yeah, okay. You can buy fantasies. The reality is MMT does not work. Okay? The reality is that neoliberalism is just microeconomics, everybody doing their best to, to better themselves. And, uh, you know, capitalism does work. That's why we have $150 trillion. And our biggest problem is, you know, how can government give us all these free things? That's our biggest problem. We'll just liquefy all the wealth that we haven't created in the past 200 years in the U.S., $150 trillion. Okay, we'll liquefy all that value. Because we're only up to 22 trillion, and fake MMT wants four, five, six trillion a year in deficits. Okay, we'll just keep liquefying it. All right, and um, we don't have to work anymore. No skill, nothing required. We'll all be fucking uh, like orphans. Buffer stock is what they call it, and we'll serve the public purpose, surfing. So we're not neoliberals. Anyway. You guys, you MMT tards, you're fucking idiots. Uh, I'll say that again. You're a bunch of fucking morons. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So, um, that's it for this video. That's what neoliberal means. Give up your job, give up your money, and uh, you'll be virtuous too. Uh, somehow I doubt you'll do that. Take care, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.